are kicking off Fall Harvest with our fourth official dollar store challenge. <laughs> can you tell we're excited right now? The rules are create a DIY using anything you can find at a dollar store, and the budget for this challenge is $15. Yeah. Which doesn't easy. sound like a lot, but at a dollar store, man, it goes a long way. We'll find out. <laughs> Basic supplies from your home, like glue, paint, uh, are allowed, but other main materials must come from the dollar store itself. Are we ready? Yes. Take your places, right. everybody. Right. I'm starting good. with Maria. Here we oh, go. All right, here we go. Okay, so of course, mine had to involve food, food and Shocker. entertaining. Okay, okay, so what I have over here is a beautiful display that you can use for just about any upcoming fall harvest movie where you're entertaining your friends or this can last all through Thanksgiving, everything like that. This is your go-to okay. or nothing. So you can see I have my pumpkin cake holders. They can hold cakes, Whoa. cookies, donuts. Um, I love any of those things, so that works. And then my beautiful <laughs> sign here, so I'll show you how to get started. You had me at donuts. I okay, had everyone at donuts. That's that was true. I was trying to buy the win with donuts. So this is the bu like the buckets that are, you have to have one of these for Halloween because they're just like a uh, rite of passage. Everywhere, They yeah. sell these at this dollar store. So what I did, Cameron, these are the base of my pumpkin uh, cake holders. Okay. So what I did is I actually filled it up with sand because I wanted it to have some stability so it wasn't top heavy, and I spray painted it. Spray paint is my absolute way to, favorite way to transform just about anything. I did a layer of just a gold, or I'm sorry, a, an orange, like a nice matte orange. You got it. But I will tell you, I wanted that sort of Cinderella pumpkin look. Oh. So I have my uh, spray paint here, and what I did is I actually went through, and I just, yep, that's all for you guys. Uh, don't do that around your uh, donuts, of course. So do this, and then I did another layer of the uh, the orange spray paint sort of over it. The mixing of that is really, really fun. So then well after done. I did that, I used just some hot glue. You can use like an E6000 to put the plate on. And another great tip too, they have so many florals at the uh, dollar store. So what you wanna do with that to make them look really sort of chic and elegant is grab, this is called Design Master. You spray these and that will change the color. You can do these and on your flowers. I glued them on and I spray painted a sign also as well and then just did all of that, just glued everything on. That is actually, all of this is at the dollar store. You went to town, Maria. Go you, ahead, have a donut. This is for me. Okay, have you enjoy that. Mm, very, very yeah. well done. We're off to a great start. We're moving over. Yeah. Shirley, well, it is your turn. Okay. You can have a donut later too, maybe, if Maria enjoy. shares. Enjoy. Okay, well listen, I, I, I have to admit, this doesn't look very impressive, right? I well, can do that. It's not we're just not sure what's happening yet. Okay, you so said it, here's the us. thing, <laughs> my friends. I want you to take a look yeah, at something on. that is kind of a mysterious thing. This is my dollar store challenge entry, and it <laughs> happens to be a double-sided indoor plant tool, which I'm going to show you. I think I'm going to show you how it works first, and I'm going to show you. You won't believe how I made it. Double-sided okay? indoor plant first tool. First of all, it has a little stand, and it's um, really kept in here with a couple of sponges that I've covered. So okay. it has its own stand, but what the heck is this? Okay, let me show you. All right. Are you tired of getting on a ladder to hang your plants? Yes. Uh -huh. you gotta get out the ladder, Why you have to you set to it up. It? Right, so when you point. can make your own tool, surely, like this, and I'm not finished. <laughs> I've got another side. Wow. You can either use a uh, feather duster or a microfiber, and you can groom your plants at the same time. Um, and on that end, it's just a wooden spoon yes. that you've cut a little notch into. Okay. And this would be great for moving your plants from outdoors to indoors, indoors for the winter season, Humble everybody. Material you you get just <laughs> leave the ladder in the basement. Yeah, get a broom. You get a kitchen uh, uh, spoon. I actually went to a couple of stores to find the right size. You stuff it in here, and then on the other side, you take this off. You stuff this with paper, you're gonna put it in here, and then if you wanna doll it up, a little uh, wood textured uh, uh, liner. Drawer and liner, that's yeah. it, my friends. Surely you Shirley. should market that's this it. and you know copyright that's it. That's right. Done. That's you right. Great, awesome, Shirley. Okay, Orly, oh, yeah. we're heading over to you. Man, Last I really but not liked least. her infomercial voice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nailed well, it, Shirley. Let's see what you got then. Okay, Orly. <laughs> I gotta say, I took a huge risk because I went to the dollar store with both my kids. Oh boy. Well, you know, that's you a good. Came time. out in one piece. I came out that's alive. Amazing. And so I wanted to keep it simple. So I found they have an entire wall of like baskets, all different types, big baskets you could use for laundry. But I found these, which are kind of like a wire, like mesh sort of caged basket. Yep. And I thought as is, they were really cool, but there was a way to up, sort of up your game. And just as Maria was mentioning, if they have flowers, they also have a lot of decor. So they had things that felt fall-ish. So there was this 
it's like called like mesh tubing. I don't actually know its purpose. <laughs> But they looked fall-like to me. It so, doesn't matter. Their purpose is for the dollar store challenge today. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. And they had lots of ribbon as well. So what I did is I decided to weave the basket. So what you're going to do is take your mesh tubing, the color, oh. just enter in through one side, and you're basically just going to weave it in and out. Now, if you end up finding this mesh stuff at your store, just you want to go single row by single row, because if you do multiples and pull, it gets twisted, and you lose a little bit of the volume, and the volume of it's actually really cool. Gotcha. You can see here, what I did was go brown for every other. So brown, yellow, brown, red, brown, yellow, brown, red. And when you go through it, you want to leave all of your tails. You don't want to cut the tails off because this really cool braided, can you see up there that really tight braided effect? Yeah. I basically French braided all of the tails as a way to clean finish it. So here is another version. This was tool ribbon that, again, they had and a different kind of pattern. And you can see I've got all of the tails. So Cameron, would you hold that for I me? I will, I will, get Basically to Basically what you do is can take three, right? We've got a braid, you braid through. And just like a French braid, I now take my next one and join it. Now I take my next one and join it. And you keep pulling it until you end up with this really cool detail that ties up all your loose ends <laughs> and French braids it. So you can see there, it starts to come together just like this here and it's sort of, this really beautiful, crisp, like meaty detail on the top that makes it look expensive. And this can be swapped out for any color for any season. So basically what you're saying is you got two completely different versions of the DIY for this dollar store Listen, challenge. I don't want to be technical, Cameron, but really I have three. Oh, um, I saw this one here. Can you eat it? Words. You can put something in it that you could eat, Maria. Wow. Wow. I'll take a donut though. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Amazing. You got three. Well done, everybody. Come on, bring it in. Come on. Okay, this is this is the deal. Donuts for everybody. Uh, to help us choose the winner of today's challenge. All you got to do, head over to our Facebook page and you can vote right there. And by the way, if you're inspired by these projects, send us a photo of your own creation. We would love to see them. They're all vying for your votes. Oh, yeah. You vote to whoever. Oh, this is for me. That's oh, for fantastic. you.